What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Marcus the Boss. Today I have some replays for you. Now it's kind of before we get right into it. It's kind of crazy how I said you know we're gonna be uploading more. All of this, all of that. You know we're gonna be uploading more in the new year. And that video I made on the 31st. And it's a little, little ironic, just a little ironic that I haven't recorded anything for the first week of this month. But, you know, I had a little vacation that we were going on. Family trip, can't really do much about it, especially because as soon as you get back home, the first thing I'm going to do is just relax. So that's what I was doing, getting right back to it. But I have some RU replays today. RU came out on the 1st of January, of course. And NU will come soon on the Febu on, in February. That's when we can really get into activity on here. But I just made the same Trick Room team from last time, except instead of Claydol, who somehow didn't drop. Instead of him, I have Soul Rock with Trick Room, Stealth Rock, Explosion, and Rock Blast. So basically, same set, except I had, you know, Trick Room, Stealth Rock, Explosion are the main moves there. Got Musharna. Trick Room, Moonlight, Psychic, and Moon Blast, which it now learns just stronger than Dazzling Gleam can get the drop. So, better move overall. Whimsicott, same set, Trick Room, Encore, U Turn, Moon Blast, and just set things. You can usually get a slow U Turn after you set because you're still even with no speed. EVs really fast. You got Perserker because Cobra Jaw didn't drop, rightfully so. But you got Perserker, he, he's relatively slow. 94, you can see the number right there. It's Cursula. Let me see. Perserker has close combat, U turn, Iron Head, and Crunch, and it has tough claws, as you can see. So, Perserker has it made basically like all that great ability, powerful stab thanks to the ability, and some really good coverage moves as well. CC is really nice to have. So, are the other things I named. U turn is also really good because Whimsicott can U turn, Passimian can U turn, and Cursula and Passimian, same sets from the UU video. Cursola is Life Orb, Edge Quake, and Earth Power Power Gem. It's Ice Beam and Stab Shadow Ball, and passing me to CC. Knock off, U turn, Gunk Shot. So let's get into this first match. We got Basculin, Slurpuff, Malamar, Stunfisk, Galar, Octillery, and Cross. Stunfisk is kind of ass. I'll just say it right now. Stunfisk kind of kind of sucks. It's a, like, Stunfisk is not. I used it in my in game team, actually. We just trade Rock. I, I have Explosion, Rock Blast, and Trick Room. So I can't really do too much. I actually was just going to explode because he yawned. And I got him on the Octillery switch. So it works in my favor. Because Octillery is going to get hella weakened. I'm going to go to Whimsicott. I could have went to Passing Me to get the U-turn. But we're just going to get Whimsicott in and get the kill. Get some leftovers. He goes to cross the I mean, I, I know he's not going to Oko me with anything. And if he sets up, I can just Encore him. So, yes yeah, sir. That's going to be Crustle out of the picture. Whimsicott doing... Surprisingly big damage here, or decent amount of work, I should say. Slurpuff comes out, same song and dance. If it sets up, I can just encore him and be on my way. And sure enough, that's exactly what happens. He goes for the calm mind, but no, sir. Have that encore on deck. Now I can U turn, I could pretty much do anything. He goes to hard basculin on a Whimsicott. Don't know how much I agree with that, but that just gets me past Simeon. And I'm just gonna CC. He does have Slurp up to resist, but like I said, if he sets up anything, I just encore him with Whimsicott, and he's either, he's either forced to switch because then I can just get Berserker in and get a kill. He actually activates on Burden there, which I didn't even see the first time I watched it, but he's trying to set up again, but it's not gonna work for him because I can just lock him in every time. He's not gonna beat me with this Mon. He stays in, but that's not gonna work for him because I'm gonna Trick Room. Encore, I mean, Encore buys me just enough time to be able to trick room, get Perserker right in here. And he does have Stunfisk at full health, just chilling, but Perserker does not care. I'm just going to go for Iron Head. And he's just going to forfeit after that. He did have Stunfisk. I don't know how much it would have taken from CC. I don't think Malamar was beating me. I had Whimsicott at full health. I had Scarf Passimian with the U turn. I had Musharna and Culperberry Moonblast. Yeah, Malamar's future wasn't too bright in that game. And Stunfisk is bad, so that's going to be game one. On to the next one. My dude has got him. He's got Shuckle with the webs, Phalanx to try to set up. Sleep with the no retreat. Whimsicott kind of stops all that shit, so. 
don't have to worry about full links too much because I do have Encore Music Card, which I have done. And if you watch my show in life, you actually see me doing that too, a eh? full links. It's hilarious, but it's got the web with Shuckle. Shinchino to be a big threat. Shinchino is probably one of my favorite Pokemon of all time, to be honest with you. And you got the Haunter Save by Nice Double Ghost. For Lynx, Appleton just sits there eating up hits. Apple Acid and Spadef drops. Pretty f it's 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 fundamentally fun, I would say. It has thick fat, so neutral to fire. Or resist fire because it's a grass dragon. And it's not as weak to ice. So I'm just going for Rock Blast against Old Shuckle because I can't really do anything. If he gets up web, hey, that's better for me because it's a trick room. And Passimian gets Defiant. And Soul Rock, who's not even gonna stay long term, has Levitate. So the other mon truly affected by the web. I guess Passimian, even though you do get the Defiant, yeah, you're still affected because you're not gonna be Scarf anymore. Uh, so, then I have my Trick Room mons. Whimsicott's affected because Whimsicott actually is still even with zero speed at all. I don't. I don't. I still have like a, a bold nature. I don't have like relaxed or anything. So that, that's gonna be. It's gonna be hurting. I would have. Wouldn't have exploded if he didn't get like. If I. If I would have killed this little rock earlier. But now I go to Berserker, and I can start doing work. Three turns of Trick Room to operate. He goes for his infestation. Whatever, bro. I'm just gonna get this. Uh. And look at his teams. Uh, Berserker gets in theory two more kills. He has the Sableye with the Willow Wisp, but he doesn't go there. He goes to. Phalanx and dies. Goodbye. Rest in peace, Phalanx. Iron Head did 94, bro. Close combat is doing 94. That is crazy. Appleton just gets annihilated by U-turn. He's probably not faster than me if the uh, the web isn't up. He goes for Leech Seed. That's not gonna happen. And Berserker doing big damage early. Two kills. Appleton basically dead. I want to say. I want to check that though. Just to be sure. Appleton. Is at 13, so I don't know if Showdown's math works. Uh, I really only have Passivian for this. It has to take the big hit, but Harner's out of the picture. Harner was EV light, wasn't living the thing before Define anyway. I don't care if he burns me because look at his team. Since Shino's not gonna get past Cursola, Perserker, Wimps, it's, it's not getting past all of those. I mean, I love the mom, but it's not on that level of strength. I realize I could probably just go Wimps and come to recover. After knocking off, apparently a sash. He goes for Shadow Claw. I don't know what he's trying to do with this, but it clearly didn't work because he is out of the picture. So now all he has a Chinchino, but I can just get up Trick Room, provided he doesn't kill me here. He goes for Rock Blast, which I mean, I don't know how to calculate the damage of Tail Slot based off of that, but I feel like I would have barely lived anyway, which actually might have been a little bit better. I go for Moon Blast, like just kill me, bro, because I want to get this, uh, Berserker in and finish the game. I could get into Chinchino. I could get in Cursola or Musharna, but I haven't revealed them yet. And he doesn't know any move they have, so if we fight him again, he still wouldn't know, which is why I didn't go into either of those. So yeah, Appleton's just not gonna. Like, like I said, their room uh, is probably the reason that he's still slower than me, or the reason I'm slower than him under the room. And with that, that'll be game two. I did have Ice Beam. I know this thing does have, in fact, Thick Fab, I do have Moonblast, Musharna, Ice Beam, Cursola. It wasn't last and past any of that if Perserker somehow didn't finish the game right there. And on to the next one. Yes, sir, that is correct. We have a third replay in this game. I can't even tell you the last time I did more than two replays in the battle. I can probably look it up, maybe put a caption on the screen for reference, maybe put that video in the description. Or the last time three or more replays were in a showdown video, or more than two, basically. But I'm on this side this time. I don't bother. I, I could change it, but I couldn't be bothered to. We have so my man's got him a web team. Another Appleton. I don't know where Togetic, Appleton, or Kafa Greek is fit on this team, considering he has. Well, I don't. Galvantula, Galvantula don't even have to be web. Like you could be like Specs. You probably rifle four attacks. Probably exist somewhere. I can't really be assuming they're all web, but it's it's safe sometimes to to, to assume that. Know it out. You know, you're on the ladder. All they know is web. They don't give a flying fuck. So, we're gonna just get it started. We're gonna get past Simeon versus Soul Rock League matchup. And this man just kept critting me with U turn. There's one. That one doesn't matter as much. I don't really care about that one. I'm not tripping over that. That's whatever. Uh, but yeah, I just get the rocks up. I choose that. He goes back into Pat Simeon afterwards. I'm like, I'll go to Boostar. I'll take my psychic. Your resist to this is Mr. Rhyme. And I have Spin Walker that beats you all day, every day. So 
we're cool with that. He goes to Confagrigus, gets two hit. I'm probably slower because I uh, my speed IV situation. He goes to Mr. Rhyme anyway. I don't know what I want to Whimsicott. And Whimsicott is still faster than his fast Mr. Rhyme unless he's Scarf, but he's not Scarf, so I can just U-turn into Curse Soul, I get the spin block. Which is perfect. I go for I think power gem because he had Togetic, and that was like the only thing that reasonable that, that would switch in there. I go to Perserker on Predicting a roost, but he actually goes to protect that works. He goes to Appleton, which gets lit up by Iron Head, and this works perfectly because Togetic is dead to rock. I have Curve Solo all day to block spin, so I'm not worried about that. I also have Passimian to kind of ruin him. He has Heavy Duty Boost though, so yeah, gotta worry about that. I decide just to take the kill here. Um, because if he goes to like Passimian. Toki takes dead to rocks, and I can knock the Simeon's item off to get utility at knocking his item off. I knock off a Scarf Gap Man, so I don't know why he Giga Drain, considering nothing on my team is weak to that move. I don't know, a Lunchtime Time move like a Volt Switch maybe seemed like a better play. He goes to uh, his own Passimian. It's for the CC. I'm kind of torn on what the play here is. I don't remember what I do. I think I U turn. I actually Moonblast. I get the drop. On Mr. Mime, who is, like I said, heavy duty boots. I'm just gonna U turn now. Just keep chipping this Mr. Mime. So now he's in range of passing me, and he goes for slack off, so he's not in range anymore, but he can't spin. He's not Psy Shock. Which still wouldn't have done much because of the drop, but Curve Sola, proving it's worth there, getting the kill. He goes to pass him in. Oh, I'm just gonna let him kill me, because Toke takes dead to rocks, so. Yeah, and I got the parish body, so. The game's practically over because he, he, if he switches, like, passing me can't lock himself into any one move. I realize I probably should have gone to Whimsicott first to get the room up, but it doesn't even matter because he's not going to try even, like, stay and play around it like I predicted he would. Just forfeits, and that will be game three. No, sir. You're not hallucinating. It's not a dream. It's not an alternate universe. Mark of Five the Ball Five actually has a showdown replay video with more than. With four replays in it. Probably the first time in a long time. I did talk about like when about Link in the video, that'll be the first replay with the first replay video with three re not the first, but the last. The most recent video with I can't speak right now, hold on. I did say I would look for and link the last video with three plus replays on it. In the description that is still true so we will do that but let's get into the fourth replay we got Gavantula potentially web on this team given Lunatone and Clink those could be good offensive users of it Eldegoss can spin Runa Regis that's a nice little it's a small core I mean matchup against ice or flying is phenomenal but Clink Clang does have the steel typing and Lunatone and Clink Clang can kind of offensively cover those types by being offensive checks to those kind of mods Sigilif is a broken AF you either outspeed it or you lose, basically. But I do have Trick Room, so Mushana can take hits from Sigilyph all day. Perserker has Crunch under Trick Room. Two Tough Claws boosts it, and Stab Iron Head will do a number as well. And Cursola, Shadow Ball, and even its coverage and Ice Beam and Power Gen. And then Scarf Pass Simeon for when the room is not up. And uh, that's basically the gist of it. Let's get this. Fourth replay going. You get a Galvantula versus Soul Rock lead matchup because I lead Soul Rock all the time without thinking about it, without hesitating. Uh, he goes hard Lunatone on my Soul Rock, so we got a Sun Moon matchup here. I wanted to trick room. I was thinking about it, but I decided to just get the Rock Blast. It was the right play because he would have killed me with Shadow Ball. Only get two hits, but damage is damage, right? I'm going to pass him in for the U turn. <laughs> Runarikis is just an all around phenomenal play there because, like, I guess the best move I could have done to him was knock off, but. I was gonna use. I probably should have set up a room here, but I what I ended up doing was because if I set up room, I could just want Curse Soul to spin block. But instead, I just moon blast. I probably should have got the room there. But I'm just gonna U-turn. It gets a little bit. It gets a little more chip damage because I would have had to hard switch because he would have been faster than me because of the room. But we get Curse Soul and he goes for Stone Square because he doesn't care about actually playing around the smallest period. Shadow Ball gets a kill, but look at his team and look at Curse Soul and Curse Soul just goes on a rampage. I didn't actually know this, but um. Eldegoss doesn't actually get strength sap, so now he's not going to be a Shadow Ball range after another Giga Drain, so I had to Ice Beam there just to get the kill, secure it, because I didn't know. I guess Lunatone and Shock would probably be his best play because he is going to end up being a Spectre Lunatone, but he goes to Galvantula and just drops there. I go 
Shadow Ball probably would have killed, but I just wanted to ensure that he died. Just get him out of here. He goes for Gear Grind and misses. That's, I mean, you have Lunatone, bro, with Shadow Ball. Go to that. That would have done 40. Now he goes to, he's going to everything but the Lunatone to just get the kill. He's trying way too hard to set up on that. I doubt that crit mattered because of how strong Cursola is. And I have a too, I have too many outs around Sigilyph for him for that him to the, for that to have worked. So Cursola just comes and gets four kills off the damn rip. And now Passivian just wins the game because I have Defiant. And like I said, his Lunatone is specs, so I just get this knockoff. Especially because he went hard with Norigus instead of like trying to see what he could do if he took it from full. So yeah, Passivian just finishes that game. That was a really quick, really fast. I didn't even set Trick Room up and I only used half my team. Actually, I used Whimsicott, so that's a lie, but quick battle to end it off there, and that will be the final game of this video, so thank you for watching. I was some real clutchness by, by Cursola there, just, just, cause he just refused to kill it. Like, he had Lunatone, might have had Slyshock, probably put Slyshock on after this game, because Cursola just gives you the business, but come on, bro, like, you could have gone to that, but we'll take a win, and see you guys in the next video.